This is an English listening practice. I will read the same sentence twice. Please fill the blank space with a word. And, conversely, that natural selection may perfectly well succeed in largely developing any organ, without requiring as a necessary compensation the reduction of some adjoining part. It seems to be a rule, as remarked by them, both in varieties and in species, that when any part or organ is repeated many times in the structure of the same individual the number is variable. Whereas the number of the same part or organ, when it occurs in lesser numbers, is constant. The same author and some botanists have further remarked that multiple parts are also very liable to variation in structure. And, conversely, that natural selection may perfectly well succeed in largely developing any organ, without requiring as a necessary compensation the reduction of some adjoining part. It seems to be a rule, as remarked by them, both in varieties and in species, that when any part or organ is repeated many times in the structure of the same individual the number is variable. Whereas the number of the same part or organ, when it occurs in lesser numbers, is constant. The same author and some botanists have further remarked that multiple parts are also very liable to variation in structure. I presume that lowness in this case means that the several parts of the organization have been but little specialized for particular functions. And as long as the same part has to perform diversified work, we can perhaps see why it should remain variable, that is, why natural selection should have preserved or rejected each little deviation of form less carefully than when the part has to serve for one special purpose alone. In the same way that a knife which has to cut all sorts of things may be of almost any shape, whilst a tool for some particular object had better be of some particular shape. I presume that lowness in this case means that the several parts of the organization have been but little specialized for particular functions. And as long as the same part has to perform diversified work, we can perhaps see why it should remain variable, that is, why natural selection should have preserved or rejected each little deviation of form less carefully than when the part has to serve for one special purpose alone. In the same way that a knife which has to cut all sorts of things may be of almost any shape, whilst a tool for some particular object had better be of some particular shape. 